Well, speaking of games, we had a great edition of NXT last night. We had Trick Williams, Ilya Dragunov. I told you about this. Just absolutely fantastic. And uh, Ilya killed him. They got a standing ovation afterwards. The place was just going crazy for this match. They had one near fall where Trick gave him a middle rope urinage. And uh, Ilya kicked out at 2.999. And my God, these people were so angry. They thought that, that was a finish. They thought that he pinned Ilya Dragunov. But he did not. He won. And it was great. Uh, that, that, hold on, Brian. Because I got to. Because Tom brought up the card game here. And I know the NXT review is very important. But I have no idea why, when they decide to release the new cards, why J.R. Kratos. J.R. Kratos gets the card and talks about watching Team Filthy. Why is it not Tom talking about Team Filthy? I don't know, dude. Don't look at me. New Japan fans, this is J.R. Kratos. Be sure to catch the independent show now available on NewJapanWorld.com. Watch myself and Team Filthy whoop some ass. Whoa. And he punched the screen. (laughs) Well, anyway, for NXT. we had uh, Ivy Nile and Ava in a singles match, which uh, actually ended up fine. It was just a simple match. Ava slammed her a few times. Ivy submitted her. And then after beating her clean, Ivy puts a hold on again. The schism geeks hit the ring. Ava flees. And then on the exact same show, Ivy goes into the woods and she says, or Ava goes in the woods. She goes, Ivy, you're nothing but a coward. You won't show up and face me. I'm like, am I in the Twilight Zone? Like, she just beat you via submission clean in the middle and was beating you up afterwards. Now you're in the woods calling her out? But it made sense later, I guess. Well, it got better. Yeah. Then we had another excellent match. Noam Dar and Nathan Frazier for the Heritage Cup. These guys are great. And uh, the one complaint I have about these Heritage Cup matches, I actually like the matches. You know, the rules are simple enough. They they keep the action going. It's easy to tell a story. But God, two commercial breaks, which meant of the five falls, we only saw three falls. Because two of the falls were completely during a commercial break. So Noam Dar ended up uh, winning the cup back after avoiding a Phoenix Splash and hitting an Inzagiri. And uh, that warmed my heart. But did you add falls to this match? No, I'm talking about rounds. A, I'm sorry. There, there were it's there a two were two out of three falls match. Yes, but there were five rounds, and I think we saw three of the rounds. You know what I'm confused about is today they announced a heritage tournament, heritage yes. cup tournament with yes. different rules than oh, the heritage it's really cup very matches. Simple, Tom. <laughs> I can get to those later. Oh. I wrote them down. <laughs> But then Tiffany came out to cut a promo. This was straight out of the main roster. Gigi came out, and then Kiana came out. Blair came out. Roxanne came out. They'll have a four-way next week, and the winner gets Tiffany. The dialogue. Wow. Oh, the dialogue. You gotta learn somewhere. (laughs) Right? And apparently they don't have an improv class. No, the writers need to learn something. Look at Tiffany Stratton, Gigi Dolan. We've heard these women speak on NXT before when they got there. We've heard some of them speak while they were on the indies, they are giving them way too much and not letting some of the natural bitchiness and cattiness come out of them. They're scripting everything Sorry, so Dom. much that nothing works. It's true. Wait, what? I know, but he's yelled at you for that one before. Forgot the thesaurus. Sorry. Yes. We had Ave in the woods, and uh, this cowardly Ivy showed up. The two dudes. Ava goes, boys, get her. And they unmask, and they're the creeds. Ivy beats up Ava. And then the Creeds, who are, uh, they lost a Loser Leaves Town match. They signed their own match. We're going to have another match next week. And if we win, we can just hang out from now on. And then the Dyad and Joe Gacy. Where are the cops that rolled up on Tony D'Angelo? I'm starting to think it was because he was Italian. There are two dudes and another lady who just kidnapped a woman in the woods. And now they're making demands. I don't think they kidnapped her. What is going on? I think Ivy just beat her up. Just threw her into leaves, you know. Big pile. Yeah, we had the uh, metaphor announcement. And then Noam Dar notes, I don't have to defend the cup for five weeks. So ladies at Oro Mensa, let's go to California. So we have, we're going to have five weeks of skits of metaphor 
in California. I hope so. Wow. That sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe they'll go to Disneyland. Can you imagine Noam Dar on, like, the, the rides? Maybe we're going to get them in a nice truck like Nakamura and Boogs hey, rolling yeah. around the California highway together. Yeah. This guy's making fun of HBK for being Booker of the Year. If you don't, if you guys don't think that he's going to place, you know, all right in Booker of the Year, think again. Because he's been doing a good it's, job. He's going to be right behind Which you'd know Nozawa. if you watched the show, actually. We had uh, Dragon Lee and Lyra versus Dom and Rhea. It's a pretty good match. And uh, the finish was kind of stupid. It was one of those WWE things. Raquel comes out, and she attacks Rhea at ringside. And, like, when Rhea Ripley showed up from the main roster, the building just absolutely explodes. And so they're going crazy. She's beating the heck out of Rhea Ripley at ringside. And this referee has to pretend he didn't see anything. And then Dom goes running. Lee gives him the Destino and pins him. So it looks like Dragon Lee will be getting another shot at uh, Dominic Mysterio. We had another deal where Trick and Mello, uh, they're not having the best time together, but they got back on the same page. And then, uh, supposed to be Baron, Corner, uh, Baron Corbin and Von Wagner, but uh, Baron Corbin attacks him at the bell. They're brawling all over the place. It's actually a good brawl. And then Corbin gives him a back suplex on the floor, which looked like it sucked. He goes after Mr. Stone. Wagner makes the save, and he starts clearing off the table because his gimmick is he puts dudes through the table. And all of a sudden, from out of nowhere, Braun Breaker flies in, and he speared Von Wagner, I think, to California. Like, metaphor may be in California, and they find Von Wagner, like, his body, like the Wiley e. Coyote in the side of a cliff. Braun speared this guy so hard, I thought he killed him. And then him and Corbin smiled and laughed. So I guess we're going to maybe have a three-way or something. I don't even know. Well, I guess his shirt was right then, right? You notice that shirt he had on? What did it say this week? Braun Breaker. Best spear in the business. Well, find me a better spear than Braun Breaker's. Is he talking to Goldberg, Brian? Well, I don't. I, I can't imagine Goldberg comes in for an NXT match with Braun Breaker. I suppose hey. anything is possible. In Doesn't fact, funny I should mention that, Becky Lynch is teasing coming to NXT. Because they really want to beat Dynamite in some of these demos. So she's going to come and face Tiffany, apparently. And then the main event was uh, Carmelo Hayes and Wes Lee. Didn't get as much time as I thought, but they had a very good match because they're both quite great. And uh, finally, Carmelo did this springboard into a DDT, putting Wes through a table outside, which was awesome. And they get back in the ring. Carmelo rolls outside after getting hit with the cardiac kick. Wes tries a tope. He misses, and he spears his own head into the barricade. I thought he was dead. And he gets back into the ring, and Carmelo hits the uh, nothing but net, gets the pin. And uh, good match. Carmelo Hayes retains the title. Anything well, else you'd like to add, I... you guys? No, good. Tom, what did you think of the show? A couple of good matches on it. I enjoyed it. I mean, how can you not enjoy it with that OU Dragunov performance? And then Wesley and Carmelo Hayes. I thought they did great in the main event, obviously, to blue chip prospects that the wwe has down here in nxt and you know i think wesley and they say it on commentary for a guy who was not supposed to be in this spot looks great hey if you love this clip have i got a deal for you wrestlingobserver.com do you have a commute do you work out at the gym do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, 
Full access to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.